Hey there. Um, so I poured, I, I did this video all the way through and uh, realized that when I clicked, it didn't register the click. I didn't click right or whatever, and it wasn't recording. Um, so we're going to have a do-over, but you don't get to see the beautiful head that this beer had because I didn't record it. Um, so this is Dark Horse, two cream stout. Um, it's 7.5% alcohol by volume, and I think based on the alcohol percentage that it's an imperial um, sweet stout um, and, and nicely uh, done. It, when I poured it earlier, I poured it and I gave it a nice gush at the end, and it had a beautiful head that was um, mm, brown, not even tan, but brown, uh, but it didn't linger, so you're going to have to take my word for it. But um, anyway, smell. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> now that I've drank, you know, a third of this beer, um, it's interesting though because I was smelling it originally when it's still kind of bubbly and heady, um, and the smell is different um, when the when it can get through um, one when there's some t when there's some space in the glass for aromas to to swirl around, and also when there's not as much bubble on the glass on the top of the beer foam on the top of the beer. Um, that stops the aroma from coming through. So um, I think sometimes when you're pouring a beer, it's good to stop and smell it on its way to being finished, as opposed to when it's as opposed to full, pouring it fully, because then you get you get to kind of smell it a little bit um, before, or you can wait. I suppose if you were patient, you can wait until the head dissipates. But anyway, this beer has this beautiful um, coffee. Um, sweetness to it. it it's like, um, <laughs> anyway, it's, I want to say it's like Turkish coffee, but kind of have bad memories of Turkish coffee, but you know, it's sweet and it's, um, and it's strong. I don't know. Coffee to me is like, oh, life is okay. Um, and so that smell to me is very, very pleasing. It has good, um, good memories associated with it. So, you know, I smell this, and it just smells clean and refreshing. Um, mm, and just a little sweet, but not too much. It's got a nice um, bitterness to it as well, um, which is good. Anyway, color-wise, and now it's gotten a little bit darker, um, this thing is pretty pitch black. No light is coming through here. Uh, and like I said, it did pour with, um, you know, this kind of brown... Not ne not even necessarily tan, but brown um, head that has dissipated. Um, and then also what I thought was interesting, there's no legs or or lacing or anything coming off of this, um, even at 7.5%. And while I guess, you know, it's not high alcohol content per se, but, um, you know, it does give you some belly warming. But again, I get ahead of myself. So, flavor. Wow, now that I taste it even again, um, it just has more depth and character to it. So this beer is very, um, at, so based on reading it here, um, you know, it just says that it's a, a, a milk stout, cream stout, sweet stout, whatever that word is. Um, and um, on the website, it's part of their um, stout, winter stout series. Um, and... Uh, Earthy hop, definitely roasted coffee. Um, it's only 20 IBUs, but it has this kind of um, acidity, astringency. I'm not exactly sure of the word um, that I'm looking for. Um, bitterness to it, like that is reminiscent of coffee, um, that is pretty enjoyable. And then kind of mediated by this earthy, almost smoky, but not like liquid smoke or smoked porter or something like that, but just a little, mm, a little smokiness of flavor that just dissolves away into this really nice finish. So it's not sweet, um, you know, and, um, it, it, so it's, I've had some, uh, stouts that are very syrupy, almost sweet, like I thought my lips were going to be sticky afterward, um, Anyway, 
Wow. Really nice, complex beer. I feel like people who like stouts or imperial stouts that have that, like, that have that roasty, um, uh, intense flavor, uh, and are disinclined or not as fond of, disinclined to try or not as fond of, um, sweet stouts because they might come across as too sweet, um, might really like this beer. Um, I've had a couple, um, of imperial style, uh, milk stouts where they equally try to raise, that wasn't very equal, it's watch, it's weird watching myself in the video, equally, um, Equally try to raise the um, the sweetness and the intensity um, and the maltiness and and um, sometimes it comes across as too much. Um, this I feel like has probably whatever is the standard amount of sweetness, um, lactose, sugar, creaminess that uh, a, a milk stout might have, but um, made as an imperial style, so it has um, you know a little bit more bitterness to it. Um, and then a little bit more alcohol to it. it has that warmth to it. It sounds like they used um, some hops um, to give an earthy um, hop, earthy hoppiness to it. Um, and, um, you know, and that just makes it a really intense, um, complex beer. Very good to drink. Um, anyway, very enjoyable. I also said earlier, which you didn't hear because I wasn't recording, that, um, you know, this is brewed in, Mar is it Marshall? Marshall. Michigan, and um, I feel like, you know, in the winter we tend to drink um, darker beers. Um, we tend to drink darker beers and, um, you know, heavier flavors of things, and that this would pair very nicely um, with uh, Michigan winter. I feel like, um, you know, this is a nice, warm, robust, warming even, robust, um, you know, but mediated slightly by the sweetness of the style ale. Very enjoyable. Um, all right, so if this is something that you have had, please share with me your thoughts about it and where you were able to find it, uh, for those of us who follow. Um, and, oh, I got this on Tavor. This is another Tavor find, um, you know, because I'm pretty sure that uh, Michigan beers wouldn't necessarily make it to me um, otherwise. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, excellent beer, so thank you to Vor. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.